Little India is known for its many Indian stores and coffee shops and of course the 24-hour shopping mall Mustafa. But a boutique hotel? Following the success of 1929 and New Majestic Hotel at Chinatown, visionary hoteler Lo Lik Feng launched his latest project, 29-room boutique hotel Wanderlust, in the heart of Little India along Dixon Road, just a lane away from Dundup Street. A street which is slowly becoming the next Haji Lane, with more and more Singaporeans patronising the little pubs and eateries there. And amidst all these quaint outlets, stands the four-storey hotel. As a true testament to two different worlds coming together, you can see a seven-month dinner going on on my right. And here, I'm about to enter the boutique hotel that is Wanderlust. Here we are in this area of Wanderlust. So tell us firstly, why did you all choose this location here in Serangoon Road? Okay, firstly, why not? <laughs> Because we like the buzz, um, it's very colourful, we like the heritage aspects of it and we've been at, in Chinatown for a very long time, it's 1929 in New Majestic. So we decided to, to, to try somewhere completely different from that. Uh, we like to challenge ourselves and we've fallen in love with Little India. So this used to be a Hongwen Primary school? Mm, yes, it's a Hongwen school, it's a Chinese school. Right. Uh, it's been standing since 1920s. Ah, yeah. and was that the reason why you, cho why you chose this building? Um, yeah, part of the reason is because it's a very beautiful uh, building in itself. If mm. you will see the facade, the, the conservation aspect of it, um, we love to buy uh, beautiful conservation buildings and then work our magic in right, that. Right, and yeah, I can and see like it's a uh, really colourful corridor <laughs> we have here right now. What That's team right. is um, it, this floor? Well, this is done by Funk Studio and it's eccentricity. And, eccentricity. Uh, yeah, we call this level the Pantoon level because it plays on all different colours. Wanderlust has 29 rooms spread over three floors, each with a different team. This floor has rooms that come in different colour teams. Unpacking the bags and setting up and planted lilacs and buttercups. Oh. Okay, so this is the third floor. It's done by DP Architects and is it called Is It Just Black and White? So the room that I'm going to bring you is uh, the princess room. Um, so black being the corridors, right? As you can see. That's right. And uh, when you enter the room, um, you'll see. So I'm just wondering, right? Like mm. as a guest, right? Yeah. And you come into you come to Wanderlust, mm. and you know all the different rooms have a different team. How do yep. you decide which room should you go for? <laughs> okay, that's like that's a really good question. We have 29 rooms, all different. Uh, we usually start from budgets. Um, I would say, given 80% of our guests, they're often very candid about what they get. Um, but uh, that, well. On that end, we can personalise the reservation process. Right. Um, it's Everybody has their own preferences and we try to find that out in our conversations with the guests. So this helps us because we know the guests before they come in, we know their expectations and preferences right. and we try to cater to that. Of course, um, before they come in, we will then send, send a picture along with the confirmation and if they're happy with it, they'll take it. Okay, creature Comforts is done by F. Furious and um, as the name uh, suggests, Creatures means that we do have monsters. Each, each room has its own monster and the room that I'm going to show you is a tree monster. Okay, so once you enter the room, you see a canopy of uh, leaves oh, and uh, yes. yes, right here. <laughs> it's this our is the tree room. monster. That's right, that's our tree monster. But like uh, every room being totally different compared to the princess room just now you went to. Yeah. And this one, even has a different design, it's like a, what do you call it, a loft design? That's right, um, because the fourth floor has high ceilings, which is a characteristic of many conservation buildings. So we are able to build the loft concept. Okay, so this is the loft room, right? Where you have a little area here below where you can sit down, watch some TV and you can bed upstairs. So. Mm -hmm. 
It's a rather interesting concept. Very it's bigger than the other rooms I've been to. What's the rate like for this room? Uh, the rate for promotion is now going for 380 plus 380, plus. Right. Mm -hmm. It includes breakfast for two. Okay. Yeah, and the rack rates we start from 600. Aside from Wanderlust, there's another new kid on the block Jibber Jabbers, which opened its doors a few weeks ago along Campbell Lane. Check out how Jibber Jabbers hopes to turn Campbell Lane into a street that's as hip and vibrant as Dunlop Street.